What is going on, friends, family, pickers? Uh, wanted to come at you today with just kind of an intro. Um, I'm going to be kind of combining a couple ideas here, um, but we're really, what we're going to really just start with and give an outline for, then go into more kind of specific licks and ideas with this uh, based off this down the road. But let's just start out with what I'm going to call dressing up your minor pentatonic, okay, for country kind of specifically here and what notes you'd want to add to it and kind of where to shift things to give yourself also two boxes like right kind of next to each other to kind of give yourself I tried to use examples from both in the intro I think I kind of stuck in one a little more than the other I'll go through both boxes here um actually you know what we're we'll do separate videos let's just do the one that I used uh, a little bit more of so let's just start there so let's start here we're going to be doing this in the key of C. So like playing it over like a C7. Right? Like a blues in C type of idea. Let's say. So we're going to go through this here. Um, and even it's over C. And even though you know you have your C minor pentatonic available at all times here. Because even though it's a country, we're going to be, we're playing, I, in the intro I played this over like a C blues right so you have that C minor pentatonic available to you but if we're gonna try to get more of that country sound it's fine to move into that C minor land <laughs> but um, we want to stick in C major land but we all know and love our our trusty pentatonic scale right so let's shift that down to A and let's start there so we have five eight on our low E Five seven on our A, five seven on our D, five seven on our G, five eight on our B, and five eight again on our high E. So that's going to be the the outline and the basis of what we're going to be working on and learning today. And that's going to be your A minor pentatonic or your C major pentatonic scale. Now, what we want to do today, and, and as advertised, we want to dress this up a little bit, right? And, uh, like, one of my favorite things to do here is, um, like, kind of just throw in a couple of these little half steps. Because you have to remember with the, um, with the pentatonic scales as great, the same reason I love them is the same reasons they're limited, is because there's no half steps. So you have these larger interval jumps, right? And these larger interval jumps, because they've been used throughout time or throughout the last hundred years in the music that we love here in the West, um, because of that, our ear feels a certain soulfulness with these larger interval jumps. However, they are limiting. You're going to not be able to create like a contrasting motion and just different sounds that, that you need notes that are closer together to do. So... Um, without getting into like way over comp uh, complexity with that kind of thing, let's just show you the notes first. So if I'm going to be dressing this scale up, let's start on our low E. I'm probably going to leave that there and I'm probably, to be honest with you, only going to use this C note, right? So you still have five, you still have eight on your low E, but I'm really going to base this more where my pinky is on that, on my low E string on eight. And then we're going to actually add all of these notes here okay you can use any of those notes here because we're now to throw in all of these notes these are all fine you've got like you know two flat three three four right so any of these notes are kind of good in country so that's going to be five six seven eight those are all fine now with our seven to nine, or I'm sorry, our five to seven, sorry guys, on our D, I want you to also now include eight. And same thing on your G string. I want you to include eight. And then on your G on your G, on your B string, you're gonna have five, and now I want you to include six. Eight, and then five, include six again, eight on your high E. And now you're going to see we've added that note, which is eight on your high E, eight on your B. We've added that note there. That's your, uh, 
that's eight on your G. That note, that's eight on your D. And then we've added that note, that note. And so we've added a lot, right, to what would have just been your your shell of your C major pentatonic, right? Um, and the shape of your A minor. So in other words, that, that familiar... So in other words, that familiar shape that you can kind of work out of a little quicker, right? So um, we're going to get into more down the road because I, I, I didn't want to make this lesson too long. Like I want to keep this under 10 minutes, but um, we'll get into down the road some specific licks. But if you're looking for like ideas um, in ways to use these notes, you obviously can do... Um, Add in like really like cool like speed stuff like that. I feel like with half steps you yeah, that gives you a little more. It sounds like you're playing faster than you are if you're just if you're just going through the outline. So you have that. Um, I really like this on the D and the G string. You have this if you if you kind of go down on your G and then up on your D. And then, and then you have your major to minor third there. So, you know, I kind of like just some of that movement that you can create within this really familiar scale by just adding just a couple notes, really, right? And you can really start to get into more of a um, complex kind of sound uh, or kind of the illusion of one. <laughs> so, cool. Um, I think I babbled on long enough here. Um, I'm going to definitely continue this because this is kind of a, I, you know, I'm kind of starting on my journey down chicken pick and country guitar playing as well. I've always come from more of a blues based, classic rock, jam band based world. So um, obviously lots of experience with with rockabilly and country and surf rock and, and you know, these different styles that chicken picking does pull from. But um, you know, it is relatively new last couple few years for me. So, um, cool. Hope that helps you guys. We will take this idea further. If you've made it this far, like, subscribe, share. You guys know how much I love you. Much love. Uh, keep on picking. I'll see you on the flip. Later.